Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be playing in the Circus Book, which we are actually going to be playing in, in St. Genevieve uh, this fall in Missouri. So if you're in that area and you want to join us, I think there's like two or three seats left in that class. And we're going to be altering a book into a circus book, which is really fun. So I'm giving you a sneak preview on how to uh, do a little girl coming out of a cannon, which is really fun. So we got back from our road trip last night. If you are a member, then you got to watch some little clips of uh, the trip in Palm Springs. And in surprise, um, Victoria has been my... Um, my muse about making videos and she's been doing the filming for me and so I jumped, I did a cannonball into a pool for one of the membership uh, clips. So fun. I hate for her to leave. They're here for two more weeks so we'll be having some more fun videos. I want to do a shout out to Sydney. Sydney, thank you for your warm comforting beverages. You know I enjoy those at dark o'clock in the morning. Um, thank you for that. Uh, I had some people order some art off the website. Thank you. Uh, we have about 60, over 60 members uh, of the uh, village supporters and their special perks. You will see comments uh, with a pair of underpants by them now and those are the $1.99 a month uh, village supporters and you get extra little goodies uh, throughout the month, little peeks into the Jenkins household and what's going on here. So that's very fun. All right, uh, let's jump in and uh, play on a page in that circus book. See on the table. So here's our project for today. A cannon, of course, and a girl coming out of the cannon, which I love. So uh, this is just a little sneak preview of what's going to go on in St. Genevieve. We're going to be playing in this circus book. I'm very excited about it. And today we are going to play with this together. All right, I'm actually at the end of my book. So I have the tiger on this page and the little clown, which he's so fun. I'm going to go back through this entire book and spit and smudge with Stabilo around these images. So you can do that whenever that time works for you. These are the strings in the center of a signature that I've already removed pages from. And then this is the back of the book. Rings. I'm not doing anything to these two pages. I'm going to the next string and putting underpants on those two pages with Mod Podge. That pretty purple. Use that as the base with a scratchy card and start there. Have spare pages close by so you can put your cast offs. that's going to be shot out of the cannon. I'm going to put her on a piece of cardboard. Bring in my yellow green. My card. Spread this around a little bit. Cast off page. I'm 
going to glue her down with some Mod Podge. Brand new baby blue, look at that. Right to the edge. And without cutting her head off. as we would expect. Not the head. So I'll paint both sides with the black gesso. Makeup sponge. One of my favorite stencils. And add some color. You don't have to use every inch of the stencil if you don't want to, or you can. Artist choice, as always. I am going to go ahead and glue the girl on that coffee stirrer with the E6000. Tacky glue can be used there for sure. This happens to be on my workspace, so we are going to use that. Set her aside, let her dry. Canon close at hand because I keep losing that. Some woo, pearl turquoise there, quite a bit. <laughs> With my dirty makeup sponge, I'm going to add some fun color to the background. Well, first the purple, then the green, then the ochre, and then the turquoise. Let's bring in some lines. Go over both pages with some lines. I use black gesso in my credit card. My gesso is really thick. It's been around a while.
add some splashes. Looks like a circus. And let that dry. I'm going to put the half circles along the bottom of both pages. This will be a spit and smudge, of course. Do that to both pages. That is very fun. Draw a line around that cannon and then I will put glue here and put these pages together avoiding the cannon area. I could put a little tube there to protect it, but I don't want any more stress on the book or any more width, girth I guess, on the book. Bring that up. I'm going to clip that together, let that dry, put the rice bake on it, hold it steady. Let that sit. I'm going to take the clips off, see how we did. Looks good to me. <laughs> that is very fun. I'm going to take my circle cutter and pop two circles. So I have the two circles that I cut out. I'm going to put E6000 on them. Clip that together, let that dry.
put them on the top of that page. Bring in my gold foil, put that down sunny side up. that in go around that cannon. I am going to go back and go around all of the focal points with my stabilo because I'm that kind of girl. And around the dots, the circles here. Looks great. <laughs> All right, gold dots up here. Our page is done. Girl comes out of the cannon. Da 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 da. And your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun. <laughs>